Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. Um, I, I wanted to show you a point that Galgatron's making here, which I, I pretty uh, pretty much agree with. Um, it, it, I wanted to read this first part to you. This is a tweet. He always tweets out these um, these uh, payment volume charts. But he says, latest charts. Says, if there's ever a lesson to be learned that nobody ever seems to want to learn, it's that there's no switch flipping, floodgate opening, single massive event that will make an immediate impact. MoneyGram will be a trickle at first. Now, um, and then I think XRP Boy uh, comes in and, and says, fair enough, but it's pretty early in the game. It's my opinion that pressure will come, and when it does, there's no telling what can happen. Um, and then Galgatron says, um, if MoneyGram going live and publicly stating use, uh, usage of XRapid isn't your game changer, then I don't know what could be. I'm hoping people will understand that massive moves in price or volume will not come from utility adoption. The platform moves slowly. I think he's saying basically two things here, which are true. Um, the first, that as utility comes on, uh, these companies, they're not going to just push a button and, and all of a sudden, uh, they can't take the chance for one thing of just all of a sudden use XRP full throttle and 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 that's too risky I would think for them in business they would have to do it gradually but um, as as kind of we've used the illustration before of this being kind of like a utility being kind of like a bathtub that's getting that's got the water rising I, that's how I've always pictured the utility happening now at the same time I'll say what XRP boys say here at some point there will be, I mean, and I don't have to, I'm not just speaking out of turn here. At some point, the specul the speculation part of this, um, there will be something, and, and it's usually not tied to any single bit, but just look back to the 2017 run. Something caused a massive hysteria of to, to drive the prices up, and it, that will happen again. Now, who knows? That could be, um, it could be something like, MoneyGram going live and then there'd be a two month lag. Who knows how that goes, but you couldn't ever tie, know how to know to tie that to that event. And so I think Galgatron's making a very good point in that it's not, it's never going to be tied to an exact event. And it wasn't really tied to an exact event in 2017, but that does not mean that, that there will not occasionally be explosions in price, not just for XRP, but for other digital assets, just like you've seen in Bitcoin over the last few months. But I think that more so in XRP, I think that at some point um, there will be there will be a point where uh, people that are running the show or, or money people, smart people behind the scenes see all this going on. And all of the sudden, boom. Yeah, I think there will be some times like that. Now, let's tie that in with what's said here by uh, at BGIRADGI, -I, which he, he makes a very good point that I agree with here. Off subject, to me, when when MoneyGram stock hits $3.25 plus or, or so, floodgates open for Ripple business globally as it becomes a no-brainer. And that could be a game change, could be game changing for XRP. Many are watching what XRP can do for MoneyGram, and that barometer will be MoneyGram stock price more or less. Well, I think he makes a good point here, um, and this is something that everyone should look at. MoneyGram stock went up basically six and a half percent. Well, I think the speculation with XRP as well as MoneyGram, I think yes, he's right. There are a lot of eyes watching this. And I believe that anything could, I mean, at any moment, anything, something could just really go off speculation wise, not just with MoneyGram stock as a result of this, but when the world starts to realize, if you really start to see MoneyGram really come on strong and really start to kick their competition's behinds, then watch what happens for all of the above, <laughs> because uh, it'll increase business for Ripple, and they'll start signing up people left and right, for one thing. 
But at some point, I've always believed this will all drive XRP. Um, and different parts of it will rise like a bathtub. And I think occasionally uh, we'll have blast offs and then pullbacks and the whole thing. That's how markets work. Okay. Um, next, this is from Market Watch. These numbers show just how dependent global stock markets have become on central bank stimulus and ever growing debt. I've made the point before on my channel that when I was a kid, my dad would come home from work. He would sit down in the recliner. Recliners were a big, t big deal back in the 80s. He would sit down in the rec recliner to eat his dinner and watch the evening news. And back then, we actually had manufacturing in the United States. And we were not watching, uh, when they got to the financial segment of the evening news, they were not talking about what, whether or not the central bank was going to do this or do that or announce QE. They were, there was actual conversations about manufacturing in the United States and things being made and things being sold. It wasn't just people playing uh, games with funny money, which is what they're doing now. Um, but here it says, um, these seven wild and worrying facts show it's not your father's stock market. So they said it pretty much exactly like what I've been talking about. Um, so here's the, the article and it's from uh, Market Watch. One, Wednesday's rate cut by the Federal Reserve marked the 729th time central banks around the world have moved to lower interest rates since the financial crisis in 2009. 729th time, folks. And, and CNBC painted this like, oh, well, this is the first thing they've done with interest rates since 2008. Bull. Everything has been a manipulation game. Everything you see in the stock market. I was talking to my wife um, today, actually, about not just the stock market, but real estate and everything. Everything is primed for a collapse and a, not, not just a major recession, but something that would make the depression look like a joke. Um, I'm not going to go through all through all seven of these, but you can go to Market Watch and check it out. It is it is so. Um, I'll just read number four and then we'll move on. Global debt now 3.2 times the total size of global GD, GDP, an all time high. 3.2 times the size of global GDP. Um, let me see if there's another interesting that you want to uh, know. Okay. All right, moving along. I forgot to go over this. I was talking about Leonidas' site yesterday, XRP Arcade, but I forgot to go over this, and um, it's such a smart idea that, that he it needs to be gone over. The tipper earn XRP on it. That's XRPArcade.com to do this. The tipper, um, it, it, basically, here's how it works. Website owners can use the tipper to attract traffic to their website or a specific page they wish to promote. They can set the amount of XRP they wish to tip, the frequency, um, tip every user only once for once for every X t amount of time, and then tap. Anyway, you can view the tipper source code here. So you can earn 0.01 XRP by clicking the button below. You can come back every 24 hours and reclaim the tip. So now imagine that we're we're because of XRP and Ripple and Coil and all this. We're an, an XRP tip bot, Beat Save In created. We are now entering a world where you can literally make money for going and visiting a website or being on a website. Think about how that changes the game, folks. Very, very interesting things ahead. Chini Patel at Chino Patel 29 sent me this. This is great from Shalini. Countries are adopting crypto faster than ever. Last seven days. Iran legalized crypto mining. China declared BTC a legal property as legal property. U.S. regulator SEC to run a bit Bitcoin node and XRP, by the way. Middle East regulated first crypto exchange. Um, and then she's telling she's telling the Indian government that it's time to catch up is what that tweets about. Um, then this is from XRP researcher at XRP news underscore ripple plus moneygram. MoneyGram plus SBI, MoneyGram plus Visa, all going live within weeks of each other. What else did I miss? Um, and then let's go to, <laughs> that is great. So, and Michael at VAL5 links. So if it's Fidelity or TD Ameritrade working on being able to buy it right through your brokerage account or the New York Stock Exchange, backed, which is finally getting started in, I think, the next six weeks. 
Now, this is interesting. I talked about uh, the other day about Mike Novogratz being interviewed, but I wanted to show you uh, this. This is from, we, and we also talked about Jeff Sprecher, um, but uh, he said subject to final, they're talking about BACT, how BACT is about to open. And, and then the interview with Novogratz, he was on CNBC. This is what Novogratz said. I didn't, I didn't cover part of this. The good, good news is there are lots of institutional players that are coming into the space that are going to make access much easier for credible players. So if it's Fidelity or TD Ameritrade working on being able to buy, to buy it right through your brokerage account or the New York Stock Exchange backed, which is finally getting started in, I think, the next six, week, six, six weeks. So on ramps in a credible way that the regulators are okay with are happening. So this didn't come out of nowhere. He knows something. Fidelity and TD Ameritrade right through your through your brokerage account, folks. This guy is connected. He knows what's going what's going to happen. All right. And then Michael at VAL Five Links sent this. I just wanted to show you this. It's an article he's tweeting out from Bitpanda. Says the Swiss are true cryptocurrency holders. Key findings of the study show that both the Swiss and Austrians hold the titles of the highest crypto ownership in Europe. At least 7% of internet users in Switzerland hold digital currencies. Now, I just wanted to show you this because it's not a coincidence that ground zero for money in the world, which is Switzerland and Liechtenstein, that these guys are big into crypto. If you don't think these guys know what's coming, you need to think again, folks. Switzerland knows what's going on. Next, I got this from X-Men XRP at XRP33. I don't really understand what's going on here. I'm sure that it is Apple doing their own thing, but I just want to show it to you for information purposes. Um, cash advance and cash. Uh, this is um, from Apple. Apple is banning users of its highly anticipated Apple card from purchasing cryptocurrency. According to a new user agreement, the card can't be used for cash advances or cash equivalents which includes crypto uh, purchases of crypto assets. They've got cryptocurrency listed in the thing. It says Apple and its partner, Goldman Sachs, are following in the footsteps of JP Morgan Chase Bank, Bank of America, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, which all banned the purchase of crypto with credit cards last year. Um, the, only thing, this, the only thing that can be going on here to me is this has to be, um, this has to be that for some reason, they're wanting to start their own digital asset or something like that. That's the only thing that makes any sense there. Okay, Nexo unveils XRP backed crypto credit card. This is interesting right here. Um, one of the issues, let's see, uh, with this challenge in mind, it says the crypto card has been launched in partnership with an unnamed company. According to Nexo's um, Antony Trenchev, the card allows users to spend the value of their crypto holdings with without actually spending it. Nexo is a startup which is capital backed by Arrington XRP. One can buy XRP on the hope that the card will be successful and hence boost the value of Arrington, XR, Arrington XRP. I don't understand what that last line is about. But the point is, Nexo has an XRP backed crypto credit card now. Um, so hopefully, I don't know if they physically launched it yet, but um, they are creating one, at least we know that. And then from uh, at Ripple Press, Ripple boasts 126 million transaction, 126 million dollars of transaction. I guess is what that means, making it the largest of the day. Largest of the day. This is from uh, Fiat Leap, but this is a little video. It's like 24 second, seconds that's worth your watching. Very interesting stuff. Okay, and then now I, I wanted to show you this because. I don't think this is a coincidence. I have seen two polls on Twitter today where it's Bitcoin guys that are trying to um, reference some of these di these digital assets and they include XRP in both polls I've seen as a shit coin. So I think that every time you see something like this, the X Rapid going live on MoneyGram, every time you see something huge for XRP that makes Bitcoin look silly, you start to see this kind of thing. And so um, these guys are putting out polls, which one is the shit coin of 2019? Well, if they would include Bitcoin on there, we might have some actual votes that mean something. But <laughs> just uh, 
they're scared. They are scared to death of XRP, and that is the only reason that they're putting it on there. Okay, this was interesting from Dan, at Dan Rocky. He says, I can understand that people are dis disappointed with the fact that XRP has become immune to all the great news ticking in almost in almost every day. But really, it's just about reaching a tipping point. If you analyze the XRPL, PL, it'll show it will show you some pretty amazing figures. Around one, for instance, around 185,000 new accounts were opened in the last three months. At six-digit XRP, a six-digit XRP amount is burned in transaction fees every year. The numbers are growing. It's just a matter of time before XRP is reaching that tipping point. There, there, the price cannot be held back anymore. News, news equals new. And then finally, I'm going to finish with Mr. B. He says that he's been seeing all this silly negativity on on Twitter and all. Just in case anyone is confused by the by the, the which part of the cycle we are in, this is adoption. You are either you you are you either believe this thing is going to happen or you don't. For those who don't, instead of a negative comment about a wind moon, instead, no need to dragging down others. And, and all he's saying is, don't be, don't be a bunch of wimps and go online and start trying to. I mean, if you're an XRP holder, don't don't sit there and whine about it. Put it on your Ledger Nano S. Put it away. And if you don't, if you don't have the constitution to deal with being in a lull, which is what we're in right now. If you don't have the constitution to deal with that, you don't have to try to try to poison the well. Just put yours on your Ledger Nano S, put it up, stop looking at Twitter, stop looking at the news, and one day you can come back on and thank me and Mr. B and everybody else who did have the guts to, to hang in there because they knew what they owned. I'm a digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And don't try to drag others down. Put it away if you can't deal with this. Put it away and then come back and we'll welcome you back with open arms. And we'll say, see, we knew we were right. Thank you for listening.